Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Anki. Welcome back to my let's play of Shogun 2, the Ikuiki Clan Legendary, Legendary Difficulty. So last time we left off, we... I don't know what we did, because... Actually, yeah, we defeated the Hojo army over here. It's been a, a little bit since I last played this campaign. But yeah, we defeated the Hojo army uh, around there, I believe, with this army. And we let Kai rebel, uh, rebel. But um, that's fine. We That was calculated, because we had to take care of that Hojo army first. Um... And we should easily be able to take care of that army, so that's going to not be any problems. Uh, we can, we're can we making our third army in the west here, and Wakasa is gathering. Uh, all these units are coming over, and I'm still making more. And I think I was waiting for my encampment to be done and then upgraded to the Hunting Lodge before I was going to start making the last two uh, Ikwiki Warrior monks, just to get the extra upgrade. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just uh, go from there. Let's start shoving these units in there and get this one over there as well. Um, do I have any more queued up? Is the question in Kaga. I don't, so let's queue up some more. So this is number four, because there's currently two, three, four. Uh, I think I was going to have six total. Um, yeah, because I'm going to have six, six of them, six of them, and six archers. So it's 18 plus two generals once I get another general. Um, yeah, so two more should be made, so let's queue them up. I should be able to afford that. I also have... This army here in the east. I was gonna send my monk up here first to scout out and see what they got coming. And there we go. There's a relatively small army, but together with this one, that's a, a pretty strong force. This one is without a general. So I think we're gonna set up on this bridge and I hope for, hope that he comes and actually attacks me. Because I think if I set up on that one, this guy might come in uh, into range because he's there's a general in there as well. And since we're here, we'll try and demoralize him, get some experience. He's uh, halfway to the next level, so that's good. Uh, so yeah, we do need to repair these buildings. I think Ichigo is actually happy enough for me to move out. Uh, although I am going to move the monk out as well, so it won't be happy when I leave it. But if they don't attack, then I'm just going to go back inside again. But yeah, I, I did go over this last time. Bridge battle is actually not too favorable for me. They have a total of seven archers plus maybe another boy Shigaru, but let's just say seven archers for convenience sake. Um, bridge battle is always good for whoever has the Arya Shigaru and archers. I have the Arya Shigaru, he has the archers. Um, we will obliterate any melee that he sends through, but he will beat me on, on ranged. Um, so that's definitely a little bit worrying. I'm not sure if I want to really want to do that. I could just make it a regular battle. Um, that might actually just be a better idea. I could just set up like right here. I could still retreat over the bridge if I wanted to, or set up an ambush. But I don't think that's a good idea at all. Actually, it's not. It's not a terrible idea, but I don't like ambush. I want to be on the defensive. So yeah, I'll just um, I'll put my army right there. That sounds good enough to me. And uh, I will put my monk in there. It means the town will be unhappy. But like I said, I'll just move back inside if I have to. Um, next turn anyway. So yeah, that's fine. We can we can, might still be able to give, make it a bridge battle. It might just still give us a bridge. I just want to be on the defensive. That's the, the thing I care most about. Um, and I don't think this guy will be able to reach in range. But I actually, I'm not even sure about that. But if he does, then so be it. There's a few extra more units to deal with. We can deal with that. Um, right, so the west is all settled. We have 1800 Koku as well. Not entirely sure what to do with that. Like I said, it's been a little bit. I do want to upgrade this place. Uh, I probably want to upgrade this as well. At some point. But the question is when. Um, it allows us to make marathon monks. I don't know what else we need for the marathon monks. I don't even know if I want marathon monks. I probably do just because, like, we need proving grounds, which is the charge bonus one. Right, yeah, we weren't planning on. I think I already checked that last time. We weren't planning on making this, so I don't guess we won't be getting them. Uh, so that's too bad. I mean, I could make it, to be honest. I've Yeah, I've just been in the mindset of making. Uh, Sort, but I could I could go for this and an extra have an extra five charge as well instead of the extra like last two damage and then these guys would have a total charge of twenty two or twenty two melee attack but I think the extra five charge bonus might even be better since I'm going to be using these units for flanking anyway it's not a bad idea actually I haven't thought about it plus it allows me to make those units so it's not a bad idea at all um, but first let me see what is my most Important province, Sado. I'm not going to improve this in Sado. It's just not worth it. I could improve this to make a, um, a market, but I'm not sure if that's worth it either. 
Let's see, Kaga second. I do want to upgrade this, so I think I might go for that. Then the Chizen, in which I haven't got this upgraded yet either, but this is fertile soil. This is very fertile. So yeah, let's do that. I think that's worth it. I could also save up and, and get the Fortress. That might even be better, to be honest. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Uh, that'll give us plenty of money next turn. Alright, first of all, let's move into Kai. And then I could just sit here. Or I could go out and attack them. I think if I attack him, he's going to run away, but I might be able to catch up to him anyway. I might even be able to auto over to be honest. He's actually going to stand and fight. Okay. Uh, I think I will auto resolve that, to be honest. Alright. He does have half his army remaining because of it. Let's see, are we fit to fight again? Yeah, we are. Alright, let's go out and kill him. Get out of here. Alright, we only lost 411 men that time. Still not great, but it's fine. Okay, and Kai is actually happy. The monk's in there though, but it's gonna be happy because of the military crackdown. This is still minus 11 though, and that's still gonna go up for a little bit. Oh, actually, only two more points. Um, and it's exempt from taxes, so we can stop doing that. Okay, so yeah, we'll be able to move out here soon. We did notice that Sagami's been taken uh, by the Satomi, which is kind of a bummer. Because we want Sagami as well, and it means I have to either uh, ignore them for for now or attack them, and then have to uh, like fight the Satomi at the same time. But I think we're just going to take uh, Musashi and Kazuke, and then go back and uh, take out the Satomi and take uh, Izu as well from I think Rebels. I'm not sure at this point. Okay, um, we can also make a light calf here. I haven't got any calf. It's not a bad idea to be honest. Just replace like two units with some calf. It's not a bad idea at all. Oh, definitely don't want to make him here. Uh, they've also got this upgraded, so we've got an extra free charge. Um, I don't know. It's not a bad idea. Just two, two, two of them would be pretty good. Just because it gives me versatility, it gives me flanking and all that. Um... In that case, I'd probably just merge some of these units together and then make some... Yeah, yeah, alright, I'll, I'll do that. I am gonna get rid of two of the sword, I think. I think I wanna keep eight Yaris, or do I wanna keep six Yaris? We currently have, what, four, eight, ten of these and eight Yaris. So I could go out for either eight and eight, or six and ten. I don't know. We, like, obviously these guys are fucking badass as hell. Out of their like experienced and all that, but Yaris are just a fundamental unit. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go get rid of two Yaris because my main armies are gonna have six Yari or six main frontline units anyway. I think. Um, actually, maybe eight, but that's, that's fine. And then also, it's gonna make me replenish faster. I think. Um, because these units are all like fucked. So we'll merge them and we'll merge these two. Alright, and then I'm gonna make two light calf for here. Cool. They also have a rice exchange here. Um, and the war stables. I'm gonna keep the war stables. But, do I keep the rice exchange? I mean, the rice exchange is a, it's the second upgrade. So it's pretty good for money, but Kai isn't really a money making province. Um, so I could just make a Jodo Shinzu temple here, plus it starts converting all the provinces that I'm not gonna get for a while. Like, well, Suruga for, sh for sure, and I guess Sagami I won't be getting for a little bit either. Uh, yeah, fuck it, we'll get rid of it. It's too bad. It's a pretty good building, but... I can't make... Uh, Mish or uh, Matsuke's anyway, so... Okay, this guy can actually move out now. So I think I will. Start sending him towards Kai as well. Yep, they're down to zero. Uh, this guy in North Shinano, seven. Yeah, he doesn't have to be there at all anymore. I'm gonna uh, send him on a little scout mission towards Kazuke, see what's coming. Need to make sure nothing is coming, I mean. Um, where else have we got monks? We have a ninja at level one, apparently. Right. Uh, he's gonna sit here, just leveling up, I suppose. And then we have this guy who's moved slightly. Okay, right, so I've moved all my monks already. Okay, uh, that sounds good. I did just spend some money, but I should have f plenty to still make that, pro or that building here. Yeah, I actually should just get it from the 
income alone if nothing happens to it. Right, I did notice also that uh, we lost trade last time with the Urukan, which I think they probably put a... Oh, no, I they do, do want to get trade going again. To you, but politics makes for strange and sometimes unwelcome encounters. So I'm pretty sure they broke it off with me. So I thought maybe they uh, had to put a trade embargo or something. Someone demanded it, but it doesn't look like it. If anything, they're willing to pay me quite a bit of money. Actually, looks like I might be able to afford that building after all. Yeah, it looks like I will. Well, that's quite good. What is happening here? really wish you could do this faster. <laughs> I don't want to go through like several thousand at a time. I always feel like it screws it up and then they're like, no, I'm not going to do that. How dare you ask for me or for so much all of a sudden. 8,000, what the hell is going on here? Why are they so keen on my trade? They really want something that I'm giving them, I think. Okay, apparently the 10k is the limit for them. So let's try 9.5. Nope, they're not having it. 9 to 50. Okay, I'm gonna milk this one. I want all the cash I can get. 94.50 is the last I'll go. 94.50. All right. Have it your way. 9400. Um. All right. That sounds pretty good. Thanks. I'll have it. Also, who am I war with? Dojo, Date, Hotakiyama, and Auchi. Right. Yeah, the Auchi declared war on me. Oh, right. And they're gonna land invasions, aren't they? Like little pricks. I remember they landed one before. I haven't seen any for a while though, so they might be coming again soon. Um, anyway, with that money, definitely gonna upgrade this. I guess we'll upgrade that as well then. And then probably these farms, if there's nothing else that I wanna upgrade. This is trading port. I wanted to upgrade this for such a long time, I'm just gonna do it now. There's really no point, but... Trading ports... I think we've got plenty of trade already. Um, oh, screw it, in that case I'm not even gonna bother upgrading that either. Chigo, I'm repairing that shit. I don't really need this. Like, the only reason I would need it is for happiness reasons. Um, yeah, I guess. Oh, I'll build the roads here, that's for sure. I'll upgrade these farms. I should have enough to build or upgrade both of them. And with 1300 spare. Fuck it, I'm building those roads. No, it's just. No, it's such a waste of money. I don't have to. Screw it. Um. Could make another one of these. I could also start making these fellas, but there's no need since I'm still making other things anyway. All right, cool. I think that was a uh, that was a pretty good turn right there. So in two turns we'll have those light cav ready as well. That'll be good. The Oda are still going strong. The Oda might actually be going to war with the Auchi soon if they're not already. They're right next to them. That would be good if they can keep the Auchi uh, back for a while. Okay, they are going to attack me. They're not going to have the reinforcements. Oh wait, are they? Oh, for fuck's sake, what is wrong with them? Why can't they just attack me? Oh, that's 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 kind of a bummer, actually. That's going to make it really tough, because now they've got two armies for sure to attack me with. Well, one and a half. And I don't really want to sit in my town while he does that. But I also don't really want to attack him, because he's just going to sit on the hill with his stupid archers and just shoot me down. And there's not much I can do about that. But I might be forced to if I don't want to face both his armies at the same time. Because if I'm defending in a castle against both those armies with I don't know how many bow samurai he's got. He's just going to tear me apart unless I move out. But then if I move out I'm still facing Yari samurai so. Why couldn't he just attack me? Well I guess he's playing it smart. There's not really anything I can complain about there. Mounting the rest of the Chigo. Oh I have to go inside again. Yeah I forgot about that. Well. Well I mean I could still attack him and then go inside I guess. Um, we're not gonna go for Wade Spear. What am I going for though? Am I going for Wade Spear? I think I'm gonna go for Tea Ceremony, maybe. Maybe f eventually go for Pseudo Tournament or Scholarship. Because we do want to get the Naginata Warrior Monk Cavalry at some point. Um, but it's not really worth it just for that. I could go for Chunindo. 11 turns, not bad. Um,. It's not bad at all, to be honest. A form... No, I don't have enough... Cav. Bow expertise is alright, actually. But... Uh, it's 13 turns. Running speed, it's alright. Accuracy is what I would do it for. Uh, I don't know. 
could also go down here to go for the, the match lock, but I don't think I care enough. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know. This is always good. Uh, improves conversion to crime religion, but I don't know. By the time we get that, we'll be get we'll be getting to the point where we're probably gonna blitzkrieg through everything anyway. Um, I do like bow expertise. I don't care about this too much. The two percent running speed is terrible. Okay, you know what? Let's have a look here. Um, let's see. Oh, that's why it's going faster. Well, in that case, it's gonna take longer anyway. Right, hold on, I want to see something first. Um, units, 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 units. Right, here we go. So for this guy, what do we need? War our stables, okay, so yeah, that's what I wanted to know. I don't actually need the Bajutsu Master Dojo or anything like that. Just need the one we've already got. Um, so yeah, this is going to go away in 8 turns, so it's not going to actually be 13 turns, it's going to be longer than that, but of course the same will, it will be the same for Chunin though, so it doesn't really matter. This is good just because the loyalty and the, the honor is alright. 10 turns and then yeah, 21, but I think, fuck it, we're going to go for that one. Okay, um, uh, mounting and resting the Chico. Right, so let's see what we can do here. If we attack him, I don't think I'll be, he'll be running away. Three katana samurai. Okay, we know he's got seven archers. Mostly yari samurai, two yari ashigaru. I'm pretty sure we can take him. He doesn't have a general either, which is great. He doesn't have a whole lot of uh, experience across the board. He's got a little bit here and there. I think we have to fight him. It means attacking him on the field, and if he's smart, he's just going to stay up on some hill, which is going to be terrible for me, but... It's going to be my only option, so yeah, we'll do that in a second. Let's see what your... Nothing. Ooh, this might be interesting. Might just be able to get a free town right here. What we get chance-wise here? 60... Oh, wait. Oh, is this the last of the Hojo right here? Um, how much is that? 66%. Fuck, why can't we get a 66% here? 51. Um... If we manage this, we'll probably get the town for free, and I can just focus on attacking the Satomi, and I'll have a defensive force over here. Alright, let's give it a try. Fucking yeah. Succeeded. And we're sh we should be getting this as well. I don't know where it spawned. Hopefully it spawned nearby enough that it's going to get it this same turn before the Satomi get it. Um, but that should be good. Alright, and then we're going to move this guy towards Kai. He's going to sit in there. Okay. Uh, over here. Let's move these fellas inside. You get over to a cheese and move through. All right, so now the last unit's being built. So that's yeah, four and five last being units being built. This is going to be done next turn. Uh, I'm not going to upgrade that. It doesn't give me anything. Okay, um, so we're going to sit here for a little bit longer. I'm going to make the Jodo Shinji Temple here. Sixteen. Yeah, it is happy enough for me to move out. Let me see. What is my honor again? It's something like oh, it's four now. Yeah, we got yeah two vassals established, right? Who are, did we still own them? Who did we get? We got the Atori, I think. They're dead because they declared war on me to turn after, didn't they? And was it the Yasuji? I think so. Like I said, it's been a while. Uh, yeah, these guys have got plenty of stuff as well now. We got one daughter. I really need to get going with that. Just Scabby woman, man. I need some uh, some heirs. Right, so Chico is unhappy by minus three. Okay, so if anything, we could always exempt it as well. But I think I will attack this now. We have the monk as well to keep us happy. It's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty, but it should be fine. Let's do it. Please don't run away. That would be terrible. Okay, he doesn't. I didn't expect him to, but... Okay, so four experience across the board. Or four experience over... Uh, on One experience on four units, I mean. If he had four experience across the board, this would be a whole different ballgame. Um, he's fairly depleted on all of his units. It's gonna be tough. It's, it depends on what he does. If he sits on a, on a hill in the forest... Well, if he sits on a hill without a forest, it's gonna be worse, actually. Okay, not too many forests around. Oh, sorry, not too many hills around. Forests, there are a few of. If he just comes from me, that would be perfect. Perfect. Um, which he might do, because he, he has the superior units, but on the battle meter, I have... 
uh, got a superior force overall, so I don't think he will, but I don't know. He could. If he does, it'd be great. If he doesn't, it's too bad. We don't have any heal, though, so if he does come for me, then we'll just have to fight in this forest, I think, just so we have cover from the arrows. We have advantage of him not having a general, so... For one, we've got whatever, like, our, our one cavalry unit, we can move him around freely, and also he has less, uh, rain, or, uh, sorry, less, um, morale. Okay, so rain, I think that's the best we can do. I could try and go for fog, but I don't want to, want to risk it. Rain means he doesn't get any fire arrows, I think we'll have to just take that. I don't give a fuck. Okay, um... Alright, so let's see what the battle map actually tells us. Alright, so this is the biggest hill we could use. But it gives us a forest when it, on our approach, so it's not terrible if he does take it, although it wouldn't be great. This one is alright as well, but I don't think he will take that. Um, this one would be probably the best for him. Or, yeah, not well, worst for me since it's a, it's only a small hill, but there's no forest for, to, me, uh, to cover my approach. But it should be alright. I'm just going to set up here. Ish. Uh, that's my last. Yeah. Okay. So, like this. General, we've got experience going for us. Although this army is actually not that experienced. Okay. So he's set up right there. Just gonna change my formation slightly in case he does come for me. Which it looks like he's not. He's gonna run to this hill. It looks like. I'm going to see if I can lure some of his units over with my general. And I'll just uh, march this way right away. He's got a weird... Weird idea, that guy. Like, taking this hill, it's not terrible. Especially since he's going to... Uh, if I can make him set up like that, then I can approach this way. And, and then the hill advantage is quite, quite small. And it even gives me a little bit of force to uh, run through as well. Okay, I want to see if I can lure over. Like, if I can just lure over two units, that'll be a win. If I can lure over one unit, that'll be a win. Oh, and this general does have stun and fight as well, which is great. Okay, one of his bow samurai is uh, coming back for me. Another one, maybe? I'm just gonna walk back. If I can just keep these guys coming for me, that's great. Although, there's a good chance they will just turn back in a minute. But for now, it is working. I'm gonna have these units over here run for a second. Just a few seconds, because they need to walk a lot further than the rest. Okay, it looks like it's one unit's turning back. Okay, all the units that are running start walking again. Don't want him to get tired. Okay. I can't charge him because then he'll just get shot to pieces by all the other units. I might actually have to move these guys back even further as well. Although, I mean, if we can get the one unit, that'd be great. I'm gonna approach these guys. I don't want to move too close. I'll move the general as well. Because if I get too close, then all of his units will start, start, just start shooting me, and I think they will actually be able to do that either way. But at least I'll be in melee with him. Alright, let's move up the entire line now. Okay. At least for combat now. Yeah, he's already shooting. I'm just gonna have to approach him. Yeah, at least we got that unit being murdered already. My men are going to be very tired by the time they arrive. But there's not much I can do about it. Okay, these guys are already through. So let's just start them in there. If we can get into melee with these men, that'd be great. Okay, who am I leaving behind? No one. 
put them in Yari wall real quick. These units are already beaten up as well. Okay. Just got some, uh, it's all Yaris in there actually. Okay, inspired out units. Guys in Yari will get them in there. We'll run these guys around the side. We'll get these guys in there. We're gonna run around the side as well. Okay, you go into here and then stand and fight. Okay, you need to come around here and fill this gap in. Okay, we got a side shard on the Yari Samurai. That is a Yari or a Shigaru, which is not too great. But at least it's a flank. Okay, we can charge these guys sort of in the side, which is good. Our this, oh. Is in grave oh, fuck his. Okay, that's not good. He's immobile like this as well. Okay, we shattered everything there now. Well, mostly. Uh, no, don't keep charging. For oh, right, we're shattering everything now. Uh, you, you can retreat. You're done. Okay. This is looking pretty good, actually. They're shattering a lot quicker than I thought they would. I mean, they're unexperienced, but they're still samurai. Okay, you should be safe now. At least we got a charge on them. This unit's not doing too well. Besides that, there's only one other unit that's really hurt. The rest is all doing relatively decent, and they're all going to lose morale relatively quickly now, because a lot of units are already dead. General's providing support for a lot of units as well. Breaking through the middle here, it looks like. Okay, I'm gonna put you back on your horse so you can actually chase some units. Wow, he got a lot of units that just went before they... Oh, right, oh yeah, you're the unit I kept out. That makes sense. Yeah, he had a lot of units that ran away before they even initiated. That was weird. They were just, they were just standing around. It wasn't a bug. It, the, the game, or the... The AI just sometimes uses that tactic for whatever reason, but it was still weird. We're killing a lot of them though. There's not going to be a whole lot that gets away. Actually, there's quite a bit up here. I should send my general this way. Which sucks because there's a big blob right there as well, but if we can catch up to these fellas, which it looks like we probably will... Ah, they're already right on here. Oh, there's fucking no, there's a lot of them over here actually. Didn't realize. Well, not much more we can do, so let's just run over there. But yeah, the general stand-up fight worked out really well. We only really lost these two units uh, a little bit. The rest is all completely fine. Okay, you, can you all just get out of the way? There you go. Okay, just get over to that unit and kill stuff on the way. Might be able to kill another 100 men or something, if not, to be honest. We killed 131 of him so far. Not killing men very quickly. 150. The men uh, are fatigued, my lord, and some must rest. Looks like the rest all got away. I thought some units ran this way, but they didn't. Okay, apparently something is. Oh wow, these guys are still chasing something. I guess. Oh, they nearly killed the entire unit, though. Well, I think uh, we killed a lot of it. I don't know if I'll be able to actually finish them off right now, because if I do, then I might not be able to reach back into Achiga, which is not the end of the world, because I could just exempt from taxes, but I'd rather not if I can avoid it. But this is good. This is another Date army gone, and a relative, relatively strong one at that. And it looks like Fukushima is relatively open, except for that little small army that's in the way. Besides that, it's open. So the, it looks like the eastern side is mostly... or the, Northeastern side is going to be mostly um, taken care of at this point. Okay, I might be able to chase them and get back into Ichigo, but do I want to risk it? Actually, what I'll do is I'll just put my army right on the border, right there. And then I'll use my general to attack him. Lost 94 man. And he can go back into the army, and then the army can reach back into a Chico. Boom. Look at that. Tactics right there. Oh, now he's probably going to start breaking all my buildings, because there's no other army for him to support anymore. 
Okay, so one more turn here and then that light cav unit will be done. And I f might be able to leave this place. I mean, I've got two freaking monks in here. I could always put another one in there. I mean, this guy over here could always come back and go in there as well. That's not, the, that's, not that's fine. Uh, we have one more monk. Where is he? No. Oh yeah, alright, that one. Um, well, this is definitely something to think about. I don't know if they've got anything else here. I guess we'll... Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. That one will probably spawn over here as well. And if they do have an army here, it'll just get beaten up again. But, I don't know. It might be able to help out. Um, okay. This ninja. I really wish I had something easy to do for him. Just get some experience, but I don't think I do. Actually, Atakiyama. Oh, fuck, Metsuke's. I'm a war of the Atakiyama, aren't I? I sure am. I might actually have to get my ninja out of here or he's gonna just get killed. I need a monk over here, which I don't have. Um, where were they all again? There's two here. One the Chigo. One there. And one there. Right. Okay, yeah. I don't have any ninjas here. Anywhere near. Um... He doesn't have to be here necessarily. I could just run him away, but I don't know where to. Um, I could... Yeah, let's just try and run him as far, as far away as possible here, this way, I suppose. Metsuke won't be able to do anything there. Maybe bribe one of my units, or too fucking bad if he does. Run, ninja, run! He might be able to reach him, I don't know. Uh, we have 600 bucks left, okay. It's gonna stay that way, I don't think I'll be spending any of it. Uh, okay. Let's end the turn. And maybe we'll get Kazuke and an army with it. Don't know how good it'll be. I might just get rid of it, but it'll be a town. Oh, there's the. Yeah, like I said, they're just gonna break all my shit now. It's alright, we'll move out next turn. I think. It's gonna be winter, so I just gotta make sure I don't actually go into Fukushima. Although we might get Fukushima because of the rebels. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, I'll move my army over there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But sometimes you get some really cool units, like uh, the Naganata Warrior Monk, uh, or the, the... Whatever, the Cav unit. The Cav Warrior Monk. Naganata, dude. Sometimes you get some of those, even though you can't even make them yourselves yet. Oh. Urakami just took out the Takaoka. Well, luckily I am currently trading with the Urakami, and they just paid me like 10k for it, so... That's not the same... Metsuke, is it? No, that's that one. He's not going to be able to reach my guy. Or he can No, he doesn't. Okay. I was going to say, or he walks past him. Might have to get one of my monks over there, because that is a lot of Hatakiyama, guys. Hatakiyama are down to one province, though. Oh! Aw! Oh, damn it, Satomi. Why'd you have to go and do that? Uh, okay, the Hojo are dead. Enemy raided Chigo. Enemy raid. He traded raided. Okay, he's moving... I think he was just killing off my rebels, which is kind of shit because they they were about to take this town, and he probably got some experience because of it as well. Yeah, that's looks like a relatively strong army. I might want to just try and get rid of this guy, to be honest. Do it. All right. If he succeeds, it doesn't like they won't know about it, which is kind of weird still, but so it's not a problem. Um, encampment is it done in the cheese and right? We need to build that into a. Hunting Lodge. Um, you get in there. You get in there. Right, what level is this fella? Two as well. So he's got two level twos, two Metsukes, and then he's got a level four here. Uh, dangerous. Okay, he's just gonna keep moving away. He's gonna keep him out of reach of those guys. There's one over here as well. Oh, right, I was gonna use this guy for that. Well, okay. Um... See, now we're at a, a point where it, it's a little bit I iffy with what to do. Um, okay, the revolt's still alive. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to... Or I would be able to do another one. Let's see. It's probably over here. Maybe not. Maybe it's spawned all the way over here. Fuck it, that's annoying. Um, right, so the problem is here is that... Um, well... Okay, let's... Okay, right. I have to attack the, the Satomi somehow, and the best way is to just kill their main army off right away, so that then I have, I have free roam throughout their lands. 
which is why it would have been really good if I got Kazuke, because then they would have been down here with their main army, and I could have just sent, sent this army down here and take care of it. Now I gotta wait for, for him to do, to make a move, because I don't wanna attack him here, because then he can go that way and just wreak havoc. I don't wanna go up here yet, because then if he goes down here, I'll just waste a turn. Um, which, of course, if I just sit here and he does go that way, I waste a turn as well, but, because there's a good chance he's gonna go to war with me if he's not at war with the Date. Which he's not, because the Date are only at war with me. Although they do dislike the Satomi, so maybe they will go to war, but... They might just go to war with me. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait and see what happens there. Uh, and then, of course, if this army does manage to take Fukushima, and I can hold it, then I can send this army down here, and then I can send this army this way, and then we should be able to just easily take care of that, if I can hold Fukushima. Anyway, Hojo are dead, and Takaoka are dead. Okay, got another unit to move over here, that's the last one. So now I could start making these fellas, or I could wait uh, for another three, then... Okay, so I would have to wait ten turns to get the extra stuff. Um, to be honest, I might just wait, because I don't really need them in any army right now, because this army is basically done, except for the two archers. I will wait for the uh, this building to be done, the four turns, and then I'll, I'll make the last two archers. So for now, we're just going to not make anything here, I guess. Um, yeah, that's good. So that's another army done. I'm not sure what to do with that, to be honest, because I don't really want to attack the Urakami. I think it's going to sit here until I need it. Um, and then I'll start making my fourth army as well soon. Because these armies are going to clean up the east, but I'm definitely going to need two armies in the west. And then, once we the realm divide happens, and Oda might declare war on me, or I declare war on them, um, I'll have to I'll need those two armies this way to clean up this really quickly. And then I need to defend here against the Oda with the two main arm or two armies that will be, will be over there at that point. Um, either way, I can actually reach this guy. It looks like. So let's do that. Seventy percent. What is your? I might have. No, they're exactly the same. Alright, you give it a go first. He might just be like out of range, which would be extremely annoying. No, he's not. Okay, good. So we got rid of one of them. And level up. Even better. Uh, yes, please. Converting provinces and characters. Nice. Uh, yeah, I'll go for that one. Since he looks like he's going to try or start getting rid of a lot of them. Wait, did I just get level... I got rid of the level 4 one. Fucking hell, yeah, that's good. Oh no wait, that, that was this one, it was a level 2 one. Shit, that was an other level two. Fucking hell, they've got two of them over here, and they've got one over here, and then they had one over there. That's a lot of them. This guy is probably gonna run this way, so I might be able to reach him. That'd be good. Um, anyway, we have 2k left. Do I need to spend any money? Right, this... I need to fix this shit up. And that's... Actually not that much money spent. Right. This is now 16 happiness, that's... Oh nice, that's... oh yeah, it's 80%. Okay, that's good. So this place is gonna remain similar to what it is. It's gonna go down to... or up to 17. That's gonna go up... yeah, alright, so we can move out here with no problem. So we're gonna go out and attack this fella. Uh, I'm gonna leave, I have to leave the monk inside, but that's alright. He's gonna run, and he's gonna run just far enough away to be a little dick about it. It's alright, might be an auto resolve right here. Uh, he only has three, four, has four archers. I'll fight it. I don't really want to. I don't really want to, but if I auto resolve it and he survives, then he's, I'm just gonna be in... Well, not necessarily more trouble, it's just gonna be more annoying. Although he might actually survive from this anyway, so... Eh. It looks like he doesn't have really got a good hill though. I'm just gonna charge up here and then charge down. And then the only thing he could do is take this little hill, but that's not even that good because it allows me to approach him from so many sides. He's only got a few units overall. He's only got a few infantry and he's only got a few range units, so this should be relatively easy. Oh fuck, no. Ugh, damn it, my, uh, my units are coming as reinforcements, so I might not be able to get up on this hill before he does. Eh. Annoying. I'll still try and get rain or snow or whatever. Actually, I don't like snow. Okay, I'm going with snow. Okay, where is he at? He's right there. Let's 
So he is, it looks like he's going to take that little hill. Okay, well, so be it. At least he's going to give me the time to set up all my units. He does have a general in there. Okay, I'm just going to wait for all my men to get in before I start doing shit. Start moving these guys a little bit forward, actually. Danachini! So many units. I'm sure he's still doing the same thing. Oh, yeah, he is. Alright, cool. That's fine then. Alright, looks like everything is nearly inside now. Uh, everything is inside. Okay, right. Let's just uh, start marching this way. Let's triple speed it for now. Just uh, until we get over here. Right, anyway, um, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Uh, you guys are a bit weak, so let's keep you guys at the back. The rest is fine. Okay, you guys are just going to go over here. Okay, and all of you are basically fine. These two units are a little bit depleted but not like depleted depleted just they've lost a few men okay oh god it's gonna take forever but it's fine I could run them but I'm not a fucking idiot so anyway what does he got he's got uh, that's all of his yard oh no it's bow units in the middle there okay so I think he had bow, three bow uh, Ashigaru one bow samurai he's got uh, a few Yari Samurai and a few Yari Ashigaru. Was it two Yari Ashigaru? No, one Yari Ashigaru, it looks like. And then he has the General. Okay. Sounds good to me. Fucking hell, have they even gotten like halfway there yet? This is taking so long. Keep those guys at the rear <clears throat> because they're small and in case he does want to flank around with his general, at least I've got something. This is a fairly large hill though, but again, like I said, it'll allow me to approach from a lot of sides, so I can just engage with his full line. Um, and if I just pump in like a lot of units, a lot of these units in the middle there, and then we should be good to go right there. Just gonna wait for everyone to get there before I start marching up though. I wanna make a longer line to overlap him a little bit and then get around him. Could you walk any slower for me? This is supposed to be like an easy battle, but the downside is they are right next to the border, so once we do win, they're just gonna run to the or over the border right away. They're not gonna let me kill anything. It's kind of a bummer. Alright. Looks like we're in range. Um let's actually move these guys first. Okay, so you're gonna go like that ish. You're gonna go like that ish. They're gonna basic basically cover their entire line and then these units uh, the sword units will be able to overlap. And general. I might actually put my general in uh stand and fight again. Oh and these fellas. Just gotta make sure I don't put my general inside of the enemy again before I do that. Because that was a bit dumb last time. Pretty dumb. Okay, I'll triple speed it for a little bit longer until we get into their archer range. And then we'll start running everything up. Oh, one of the archers is already moving up. Okay, looks like we're already in range. So let's start running up then. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Do it like that for now. I'll actually charge them in. Oh fuck, General was already there. Well, it's all good. Oh. Seems to be charging me as well. Okay. Now we just charge stuff.
Alright, these units can help out a little bit as well. He's fighting with downhill, so he's definitely got an advantage there, but... Uh, move you guys back a little bit. And then stand and fight. Oh. Alright, we're already shattering things over there. That's good. Charge these guys on the side flush rear. That unit's already starting to break, or waver at least. So is that one. Alright, we're pushing through here as well. He went that way, one idiot. Okay, that one's broke. Let's start going this way now. Surprisingly, he hasn't broken yet. There we go. Okay, General. Put you in normal mode again so I can actually charge a few units. Once we can. I think the game is going to be over by the time that happens, but hey. What are you going to do? Alright, General's still alive. Start charging him. Alright, General, go and uh, chase off some of these men. Oh, they ran away before I even got to them. Yeah, they're definitely going to survive just because their General will survive. And if the General survives, then the army will survive. Even if it was just a General, the one man, he would survive. Alright, that was fine though. I mean, we didn't lose much, it's just annoying because we have to actually, like, chase them off after this. Which is the most annoying part. Uh, is this general already gone? Yeah, it's 39 men. And I don't suppose he la la lost this one general unit. Uh, there he is, yeah, he's still alive. Okay, anything we can still kill? That one man. Kill him. Aw. Didn't get to see the kill. <sighs> Alright, well. That's fine. We'll just have to wait a turn. He's gonna suffer some attrition as well while waiting. So, that's good, I suppose. Hopefully he doesn't become too much of a nuisance, though. Like, that where we have to take several turns to chase him down. Because I obviously don't want to leave Ichigo undefended. But there's still the chance we're actually going to get Fukushima anyway. Oh, he did... Oh, he did die. Okay, what's... Oh, I think it's... Okay, well, the general wouldn't even be able... Fuck, can I get the army in there? I can't. Oh, that sucks. So we're not going to replenish any men this turn. It's kind of annoying. I think it's because he ran away, and then I, I uh, caught up to him anyway. That rule... Despite me playing this game so fucking much, it's actually relatively new to me. I didn't even know about it until I saw someone else, or it happened to someone else in Rome too, and I asked him and he said, well, it's probably because of that. So I figure it's uh, the same in Rome, or in Shogun 2 as well. Okay, I think I was at the end of my turn though, so I suppose I shall end it. But first, let me take a selfie. Um, yeah, alright. Nothing else in diplomacy either. Nope. Alright, let's see if this is me to declare war on me or no. Oh, if they do and they go up to Ichigo, it'd be kind of annoying. Although, eh, it wouldn't be that annoying. I would just have to move my army back. Perhaps, uh, if you listen to my offer, you will find some merit in the idea. They want me to pay them 820 koku and break my trade agreement with Urakami. So that they can, they will join my war against the Date. That's such a terrible offer, and they're, they're not going to be able to do anything against the Date. This is just for their own benefit. Um, I'll make you a counter offer. I'll give you 820 Koku. Because I'm feeling generous. There was an army there. Which makes me feel like maybe my rebel army is already gone. But that was a pretty, pretty small army. I don't know how much units you spawn. I don't know how. Uh, I wonder what that calculation is. I doubt it's random. It probably is based off of something. I just don't know off of what. I need to figure out what it is based off, so that I can influence it. Like maybe off of how much eco religion there is, or I don't know how much it costs. There's some Satomi troops. Sorry, he's moved back into his town. Siege raid was raided. Uh, okay, I don't know why I was just pausing there. 
Jodo swings the temple in Kai. Good. Clan destroy Tatakiyama. Oh, that's good. That means all those uh, Metsukes are gone. That's pretty good. Okay, you're gonna go inside. He's gonna stand outside. How much did the Oda actually like me now that I give him a little bit of money? Plus 18. Alright, I think they like me. I like. Oh, yeah, right. I gave him a gift before and it was only like plus 4, wasn't it? Yeah, they give me plus 7 for 800 bucks. Well, probably plus 8, but one of them already faded. So I guess it's it's 1 for every 100 Koku that you give him. That's really fucking ter terrible, to be honest. Maybe I should just do like these things. Fucking inciting revolts on these provinces is basically guaranteed free. Well, it is a guaranteed free province. But, I don't know, it's annoying. It's still alive, but I don't know where. Oh, there it is. It's fucking tiny. Uh, I should have just gone to Miyoshi and done it there, to be honest. No, I'm gonna. No, because I have to put this guy in here. I'm gonna de demoralize them. Oh, well, I'm not gonna demoralize them. Okay, you get in there. And let's start moving this way. I will just move in there next turn. Okay, right, so... Now the question here remains. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move up to the border and then I'll, I'll attack them next turn and siege them. Which means I do leave Kai undefended, so I'm actually gonna send this monk down here anyway, just to see what they've got down here. Okay, I can't see much. Either way, I'm not gonna attack them just yet, so I can move back in one turn. So we're gonna go here. I could actually put them in the forest, and the Satomi might just be interested in attacking me to begin with. But it's then would be a stupid. I don't want to. Uh, this town is unhappy now. Yeah, this guy has to go back in there. Should be happy now, though. Yep. How much? Three. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Um, who else have we got? You know this guy guy in the Chigo. He probably needs to stay there. He, he, yeah, but only barely. So that's good. We can move him out soon. Ninja, you can go into a town. So let's just move you back here. Town by town, just so he gets the experience every turn. Um, okay. Three and a half K bucks. Let's see. Kaga. Two turns away. One turn away from that. Not gonna upgrade that. Not gonna upgrade anything else there. Nothing interesting, really. I could upgrade, like, the, um, the Jodo Shinja school here, which gives us, uh, plus three to neighboring provinces rather than one. Oh, that's pretty big. That's a pretty big improvement right there. I'm gonna go for that. Because this borders a lot of provinces. I don't know if Kazuke borders it as well. But, either way, it's already 50% because of North Shinano. But it borders Musashi, Sagami, Suruga. And those are all provinces I haven't, like, I'm not going to get yet. So if we can just start building the Ico religion right away, then it's, that's going to be good. Um, <clears throat> Fukushima is probably relatively, well, not relatively, it's probably like 20% or so Ico already as well. Sadly, yeah, these guys are not going to be able to succeed here. It's a really small army. I think it may have been bigger because they lost the battle. They've already lost some men. Or it was just attrition. Yeah, it was probably attrition from uh, winter. Also known as winter attrition, I suppose. Okay, so three more turns before I start making archers there. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna make it. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I could start making the units for my fourth army, to be honest. But what units will that be? Because um, I, I think I said at some point I, I did want to get the katanas, but that's just unreal, uh, unreasonable. Because I would have to upgrade this to a, a castle as well. Um, I mean, which is something I could do. But it's just going to be so long before I get to that point. So I may as well have Yari Ashigaru or Yari Ronin as my main line. Honestly, Yari Ashigaru will probably do the trick. And they're a lot cheaper. Well, actually, they're not a lot cheaper. But they have Yari Wall. Um, but yeah, these guys will probably be my main line. And maybe eight of them. Four of these. Maybe six of these. Six and six, or eight and four. Um, and then six archers. Oh, actually, it would probably be six and four. Eight archer or six archers and two uh, cavalry, but I don't know. Like this campaign is going so fast and so it's going so well right now that I'm not even sure if I'm going to get to the point where I'm going to be able to field cavalry. Like it's going to take so long before I can actually make them that I think by the time it'll be irrelevant 
and light cav will speed away to go. That's something I, I could do. I could make a few more light cav units and send them over to the other armies. Um, I suppose I could do that. Two light cav in here wouldn't hurt instead of uh, two of these or two of them. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's make some of them. They can travel relatively fast as well, so yeah. And how much did it cost? Probably not much. 117. Same as a as a Ronin unit, which is quite surprising actually. Because I think I'd rather field a uh, Yari Ronin than a Cav just by itself. I mean, overall, I'd rather have some Cav units just because of the diversity. There's a stupid Dati army again. It looks to be completely full now. And it's probably got some experience for beating my uh, rebel army a few times. But I might be able to demoralize it and then attack it, so it should be good either way. Out to Yard War with the Oda, which is really, really good. I just want the West to be busy killing each other for the longest time possible. Alright, there we go. So Tommy declared war on me. I'm not going to ask the Oda in unless they're already at war. No, they're trading. Definitely not going to do it then. Let's see if they attack me right away with their main army. Oh, well, I hope they do. They didn't, though. Shit. Uh, okay. Eco Monk increased in rank. That's great. Trade agreement broken. Okay, this is a problem. Uh, yeah, I can't defend against that. But obviously, we know they've got an army there. Um... We're gonna have to use this guy to explore. I've got a Metsuke in here as well. Because I can't defend against that. So I would have to... Well, I mean, we have a stronghold. Ah, if this was done... Actually, it is done. So we get one Naginata Warrior Monk. One Yerashigaru uh, Garrison. A Samurai Retainer. And a Light Cap unit. <sighs> I don't think that's enough. Um... I can't move anything back by itself, except for the light cap units. I guess I could have two more light cap units. I don't know, we'll have to figure it out next time. Either way. Um, let's see. Jodo Shinju Monastery. So like one in Kaga is done. Cool. So we can make the... <coughs> wow, sorry. We can make the Warrior Monks... Uh, or Marathon Monks, sorry. When we get the um, Proving Grounds or whatever it's called. Um... Worst case scenario, I guess we just lose Kai and I get it back afterwards. I'd take Kazuke, take their army out, move back over here, take it back. Which is kind of annoying because they'll have to, they'll destroy this building. Um, but yeah, that's the worst case scenario. I might be able to save it somehow. I need to get this guy to explore. I really wish they attacked me here so I could have killed them and then just move back this way. Either way, uh, that's going to be for next time. So for now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I shall see you again next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.